The solar awning is an energy triple threat. It generates electricity, cools the interior by shading, and reflects sunlight, eliminating the need for lights during the day. The solar awning is a concept that was developed through some research that's being done at the University of Oregon. And we're going to take that concept and go and advance it even more. The idea is that if you're going to have something that's attached to a building, it should do more than one thing. So the solar awning concept is really that using a typical shading device that a lot of buildings have, making sure that it's the right color material so that it can also serve as a light reflector, for the portion that's important to be able to bounce light in, and then to have the, the other part that's meant more for shading be a photovoltaic, so it can also generate energy. So it's shading, lighting, as well as providing additional cooling because the sun doesn't get into the building. The idea of building integrated photovoltaics have been of an interest for me for a couple of years, but typically you've seen them either on shingles and roofs or building materials, which is great because you can do the cladding on the building, but you can produce electricity. But I've been um, always interested to see how can they do more than that. And, uh, and the idea for the solar awning came by um, the interest in general to conserve energy in the first place, more than to produce. because. Producing energy is great, but saving them in the first place is much more efficient and effective. One of the um, issues that we're very focused on in the lab is looking at the holistic perspective of buildings, so not just um, thinking about you know, the box of the building, but also thinking outside the box, thinking inside the box. So we try to kind of capture issues of energy efficiency and, uh, and sustainability in buildings from different kind of angles in a kind of a multidisciplinary kind of fashion. Uh, so we look at um, kind of a triple bottom line approach where you're trying to look at how buildings can save, save and conserve energy, uh, can produce energy more than they use their energy, and also how they impact life inside, so how it's impact on health and human performance. And at the end, you want to make them profitable and cost effective. There is the PV panel itself, which is this kind of multi-crystalline uh, PV unit. Then the external light shelf that helps bounce light or kind of see part of the sun and help kind of take it down. And then the internal light shelf, which helps again with bouncing light, uh, redistributing daylight and kind of spreading it um, in, in the ambient space in an indirect way. After that, we also kind of reconnected these units in here for these are the electrical lights. So they are part of the light shelf component, the internal light shelf component. And the idea was you would use um, the same kind of way that the daylight is redistributed and reflected from that. The, the, it's the same point for the electric light with these LED fixtures to come and bounce back. Um, up from the space. These LED lights are, are on now, but they are wired with daylight sensors, so when we have enough daylight, these shut off, and as daylight starts to decrease outside, uh, when we move to nighttime, these will start to dim up and, um, and or wrap up to, to kind of um, augment the daylighting until it becomes completely uh, electric, electric lighting at night. In summary, the solar awning is trying to um, reduce the impact um, of the you know environment on the f on the envelope of the building um, by kind of in reducing solar impact, generating energy um, through, the, through the connected PVs, uh, redistributing energy through the light shelf, um, and um, also storing energy by kind of connecting that energy back to the grid and kind of using it at night for the LED uh, connected fixtures. We started to set this up and monitor it. And that turned into uh, putting a kiosk in the hallway and actually using the setup as a lab for students to come in and evaluate uh, what they're learning in the School of Architecture and elsewhere. So it serves multiple purposes. And, and so it, it's become, uh, instead of just setting a solar awning on a building, it's become a prototype. It's become a lab for, for students and, and we're learning a lot about uh, how to uh, really construct a solar awning. Once we had the idea um, about what this awning uh, would be in this, you know, four pieces to it, we started uh, doing some preliminary, after sketching, doing some preliminary testing on scaled models 
um, using this helidon, or sometimes we call it a shadow tracker, which models um, the direct beam of the sun. Um, and when we were comfortable with the findings, we took all that into computer simulations uh, to further kind of test it throughout the year so that we were really confident of what, what we were doing and what we proposed. And then it went through the prototyping stage. Have an idea for an episode of Green Science Oregon? Send it to us. Go online to greensciencedoregon.com and click on the contact page. This segment is brought to you by Portland State University. Working with Oregon Best, we've been com getting together with a group of Oregon University researchers. And we currently have 40 different individuals who have banded around five areas of research, net zero energy, net zero water, materials, innovation and inspiration, and then also how does it work with the design process. And what we're working on is how we can get the right things in the building so that after the building is built, we can be monitored and then we can learn a lot more about the ideas and the techniques that we're incorporating. Did they work? Could they have worked a little bit better? if we only changed one little thing. It's a unique opportunity to really be able to study the building to the level we're going to be studying it. Oregon Best was created by the Oregon Legislature to help to commercialize new technologies, promote collaboration, and build the research enterprise in Oregon. Focused on collaboration amongst multiple universities and with business, and really trying to drive innovation and new technologies, products, services, companies, all built around the sustainable built environment. With, uh, with companies uh, that have an interest in evaluating new technologies, having us test their technologies, um, collaborating with us to, um, to fine tune or, or uh, explore the performance of, of different types of technologies. Oregon Best is, is, uh, is trying to bring the, the two worlds together and, and they're they're, they're, they're doing this fantastic job identifying needs in the private sector and identifying resources in the, in the public sector um, and sort of making marriages. Coming to Oregon, we found a lot of great organizations to help with the innovation, collaboration, putting interested people together. Oregon Best does that for us. So we're very happy with the association that we've been able to make with Oregon Best and the way in which they reached out to us, asked us to be a part of them, and it's been a good, uh, good organization to be a part of. They've been great in terms of uh, helping collaborations between faculty and researchers in a variety of different areas. In the sciences and uh, engineering, they've uh, sponsored startup projects, for example. Uh, they provided matching funding for this to help us get the funding and get enough funding to do everything we wanted to do. Uh, it's uh, really been very useful. The Green Building Research Laboratory here at Portland State uh, is not just a facility for academic researchers. It's a shared user facility uh, to be used by industry and stakeholders throughout the state. Oregon has a tremendous opportunity to be a, a really a global player in developing the technologies that will help tackle some of the world's biggest problems. But it doesn't come automatically. We do have the the resources that are available in terms of the natural resources for us in terms of energy generation as well as the, the technical capabilities that we've developed both in our university and industry sectors. But it requires some effort to actually make those things all work effectively together. By working at that interface I think can really help uh, help academic researchers and industrial researchers and the academic enterprise and the industrial enterprise work together synerg synergistically to really um, try and advance uh, photovoltaics and sustainable technologies here within the state of Oregon. It's very good for our students because they engage in these collaborations with the industry that they plan to work in and so it, it makes good, good contacts and it makes good sense for the, the industry or the companies to be involved. One of the major things about Oregon Best is that they might not have known that, that it also helped us bring people inside universities because they always kind of try to uh, look at people connecting through the four universities and, and with industries. But having Oregon Best there and having some of their programs initiated helps us also to connect within each other next door. The faculty is really a remarkable group because we've, we've assembled 
uh, membership of over 180 faculty members who come from disciplines uh, ranging from the social sciences through to engineering, architecture, and the physical sciences. We also have uh, a huge network that we've developed uh, through industry, nonprofits, and government that are focused in our sectors in, in green building, in infrastructure around buildings, and in renewable energy technologies. I think it's also an area that's of interest to Oregon to bring more green sector jobs into the state of Oregon. And so it seemed like a logical investment and we're really grateful to Oregon Best for their commitment to helping us build the types of facilities that are needed to bring green sector jobs to Oregon, in particular in the area of the PV industry. We see ourselves as playing a critical role in creating the green jobs that Oregon really has prioritized in its strategic economic development goals. The key to creating jobs is to creating successful businesses that can grow their product lines, their services, grow their revenue. So we're really focused on helping businesses prosper, knowing that that's where the job growth will come from. One of the neat things for us is that in addition to really being an economic development organization whose charter is to help create jobs, we're doing it through, uh, through a focus on really solving some really pressing national and global problems. We've got climate change, a dependence on foreign oil, toxicity of, of materials that are used in our buildings, and we're able to actually help contribute to solving a lot of these challenges while at the same time creating opportunities for Oregon and creating new jobs.